Estela de Carlotto responds to Victoria Villarreal's controversial remarks. After an event aimed at commemorating the victims of terrorism, last night, Victoria Villarreal, the vice presidential candidate of La Libertad Avanza, LLA, ignited a firestorm of controversy with her statements about Estela de Carlotto, the president of Abuelas de Plaza de Mayo. Villarreal, speaking with Lane Plus, branded Carlotto as a sinister character and cited her as an example of the left's hypocrisy. In response, Carlotto, a prominent human rights advocate, issued a strong rejoinder this morning, imploring Villarreal not to tarnish the memory of her daughter, Laura, who was abducted and murdered during the military dictatorship. Carlotto dismissed Villarreal's statements, saying, what she says doesn't make sense. She simultaneously implored the vice presidential candidate not to involve herself in the tragic history of her daughter, stating, do not mess with Laura. Villarreal, speaking from the Buenos Aires legislature, elaborated on her views about Carlotto, stating, The truth is that Carlotto has been a rather sinister character for our country. Despite her facade of a loving grandmother, she has, in reality, justified terrorism. Villarreal also criticized Carlotto's long-standing involvement in politics and alleged that her family has secured positions within the state. She asserted, Carlotto comes to demand something when she should be acknowledging that, of course, she may grieve her daughter's death, but she should also acknowledge that her daughter was a combatant with the Montaneros. Let's be honest, Carlotto is a prime example of the left's grand hypocrisy. These remarks from the libertarian candidate followed an event organized by her through the Center for Legal Studies on Terrorism and its Victims, CELDIV. The event aimed to support relatives of victims associated with organizations like Montaneros or the People's Revolutionary Army, ERP, during the 1970s. Estela de Carlotto responded to Villarreal's comments by announcing a commission meeting of the grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo to decide on a course of action. The 92-year-old Carlotto expressed her frustration, stating, For 45 years, I have been fighting and risking my life. They wanted to kill me. That is my life. What this person says makes no sense because she is not a human being, she is a beast. Despite her strong words, Carlotto maintained that she did not wish harm upon Villarreal and emphasized her love for her daughter, Laura. Carlotto also voiced her concerns about the potential political rise of candidates like Villarreal and Javier Malay, fearing that a serious administration is required to address the needs of the marginalized in society. I don't want a scandal, people are realizing the truth. I may have flaws because I am a human being, but I have never acted against human rights, love, or the necessity of a thriving democracy. We have the longest standing democracy in history, and we must celebrate it. People like this woman tarnish everything, Carlotto concluded in a statement to C5N. Earlier on Radio Nacional Rock, she asserted, let her say what she wants about me, but do not touch my children or Laura. My conscience is clear, and I rest easy, but harming Laura is unforgivable. People like this do not leave a mark on history. In the midst of the ensuing controversy, the CGT, General Confederation of Labor, released a statement condemning Villarreal's remarks and reaffirming their support for Estela de Carlotto. They described Villarreal's words as reprehensible and aligned with a negationist and anti-democratic stance that has no place in Argentina. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.